This video describes the procedure to make an exploded or a collapsed view in assembly. We make use of SOLIDWORKS 2019 to explain these steps. We now look at adding the exploded and the collapsed view for uh, the assembly. Under assembly toolbar, you have exploded view. Add the steps of explosion. So you have uh, the first step, explode step one, and which will have uh, the handle, pin, and the screw coming out together as a sub assembly. Add these three parts in here. You have uh, the handle and select the pin from the design tree and the screw list them all over here in the first step of ex explosion you have it to move in the y direction so you may select the arrow which points uh, in the y direction and as it moves out it spins about the ring that's uh, in x z plane so you can pick up the ring here to indicate the so this is the x ring uh, about which it spins as it moves out so the distance that it moves out you can specify this distance this is 10 millimeter you can also hold this uh, arrow in the y direction and then pull it out to move it to a specific position so this is completely out of the block this is an exploded view so that is a sign in here that's about 51 uh, millimeter we can make it 52 round it off and then we have uh, the rotation it should rotate full 360 degree as it moves in this y direction once you have assigned these parameters say click on done and we have this step added as step one and we now have the second step in the second step we would like to we would like the pin to move out so that the handle can be removed from the screw You may select the pin and then assign the direction in which it needs to move out. This is uh, at an angle, so you can probably select the white color dot in there and then move it to the center of the circle as shown here for the pin so that we get a coordinate which are perpendicular to the surface and also in plane with this particular sketch so we have the z-axis it has to move out in the z-direction we select this the and also specify the distance by which it has to move out this can be pulled further out you can hold the axis or the Z and then pull it out this way or you can also specify the number in the property manager this is for example 45 and uh, it needs to spin about the YZ axis however there is no spin it can come out without uh, being rotated it's a simple pin that you have in there so it doesn't spin so we leave this uh, as uh, the selected value at zero degree if you wish you can assign uh, the yz plane and zero degree as the rotation click on done to complete this step so we'll have about two steps here we now add the third step which is for the handle to move out the screw so let's select the handle move it in the y direction hold it and pull it out uh, until it is completely out of the screw and can spin about this so there's no spin we'll keep it at zero degree zx is the ring about which it, it can be made to spin click on done and then we add the fourth step we have got about three steps added here this will be the fourth step which is uh, 
for the bushings to be pulled out from the block. So you can select both of these either directly from the graphical screen or you can select it also from uh, this is the block that has been selected. Clear this and add the two bushings. We'll try to pull them together simultaneously in the direction of X. You can spin about this ring of uh, YZ uh, with a zero degree. Click on done and we are done with the exploded view. So let's accept this. To view the explosion, you can go to configuration manager. And then we have here under the drill jig configuration, we have got the exploded view one, which was uh, added just now with four steps in there. So you can observe the four steps here. If you wish to make any change, you can edit those features or you, you can click on edit feature and make changes to the explode steps. Let's have a look at uh, the explosion here. We'll try to collapse, click on right click on it and say collapse so that the parts go back and fit into their respective position. You can click on explode so you can toggle between these two based on the current position of those components. Now this is the exploded view can also have a look at the animation so right click on this and click on animate collapse let's collapse it let's start it from the exploded animation so right click and click on animate explode so you have got a additional animation controller toolbar here you, you can control the speed with which it is uh, exploding so you can make it slightly so slower or faster this is a slightly slower speed okay we can save this animation as AVI format and you can use the aspect ratio with whatever resolution you have there you have 1920 by 858 and 7.5 frames per second so I'll keep these as default settings here click on save you can use one of these processors here uh, compressors to compress this So these frames are being recorded to make a video. So make sure that you have uh, sufficient space for the exploded components to be seen in the, in the screen. And also orient them in such a manner that all components are visible while we have this uh, exploded step being shown in animation. You can also make the animation for the collapse view. You can right click on the exploded view there, it's already collapsed. So and right click, click on animate collapse. This goes in the reverse order. So step four, step three, two, and one. Uh, you, you can save this or as a separate animation, or you can make a loop. So you have playback mode as loop or reciprocate and then play the, the collapse and the exploded steps. So this is a loop only for the collapsed animation. If you click on uh, the playback mode as reciprocate, you will find the parts being collapsed and then exploded after that step. So you can save this as another animation.
and use the Microsoft video uh, as the compressor. Sometimes the Intel works on, on, the, on the systems based on the codecs that you have there and uh, the Microsoft video you know, works fine with the other PCs. So select the one that is uh, appropriate for the configuration of your PC. Let me select the last option there. Now we have got the two video files here. Let us play that and have a look at the animation. This is the exploded animation, exploded view with the animation in there. 